Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. you're aware I do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse I will flip it upright this is just how I've always read tarot just you're aware so let's see spirit how does this new person feel about cancer okay we got the magician Gemini Virgo energy we have the nine of swords the seven of swords and the six of swords heavy air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius why the magician? Okay, someone here is not prioritizing the connection. Cancer, they could feel like you are not. It's causing a lot of anxiety. Like this. And I'm getting this person feels overwhelmed by this situation. It's like they feel like they need to move away from it. They can't necessarily even tell you what's really going on. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Oof, the lovers. There's a strong connection between you and this person for sure, Cancer. But it's almost like this person could wonder if staying single or staying on their own could be better for some reason. I won't, I'm not fully getting why just yet, but there's a lot of anxiety here that this person feels when they think of you, um, Cancer. Heavy Gemini energy here. Why the Nine of Swords? Like, why is there so much overthinking? The King of Swords. Someone's used to being detached. Two of Swords. Yeah, wow. Someone's used to being detached, being cold, doing things on their own. So the fact that they feel so strongly about you is causing like them the, to be in this position of like, I need to make a choice because they can't stop thinking about you in this connection, but they also are very used to being able to just detach quickly. Now, if that's not them, Cancer, it could be you. If you're cross-watching, like energy is fluid. Take it as it resonates. I do love readings. This could obviously be romantic, but this could also be a new friend, right? Like there's a strong connection here is what I'm getting, but there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of anxiety because someone is cold and detached or at least acts that way. So it's like, is this person feeling the same? I get that this person um, feels that way about you, but you could feel like, like I feel like you're mirroring each other. I feel like there could even be a bit of like, you know, I'm not going to say it first. I'm not going to let them know. I'm not going to say how I feel. I'm not going to open up first. Like, I'm not going to talk about the strong bond I feel. Like, th like this is just too much for me. Now, um, if you're sitting there like, no, I'm so open with my feelings, then it's this person. So again, take it as it resonates. But there's just this energy here. There's a lot of thinking going on, overthinking, overanalyzing trying to um, understand emotions through logic and you can't do that right because when you just feel this strong bond with someone it doesn't always make sense it doesn't always logically say it could even be like well it doesn't make sense that I like that person because they're not my usual type or um, we're this much years apart in age or they're in this type of lifestyle and I'm in this like why it doesn't make sense like there's there's this energy of trying to make sense of this connection but it, it just is right there's a strong bond here and either you or this person or both of you cannot understand it um so, so you could feel like this person's even like manipulative because they don't prioritize this connection they have other things going on like they juggle um two two you could be seeing there could be something in february here lots of air energy so it could be an aquarius in the month of february 
there's just someone here who feels like, tell me about the Six of Swords, who feels like it's overwhelming, it's too much for them, they feel like they need to move away. The King of Pentacles, they need to focus on themselves, they need to focus on their work. Um, they could see you as that, you're just focusing on your work, so it's like, okay, wait a second, like, I feel so strong about Cancer, yet they're, you know, they don't even need me. Right? There's lots of masculine energy here um, with these kings, so it doesn't mean there have to be males involved, but that masculine energy is about like, like I feel like it's like the strong, silent type, like not wanting to show emotions, not wanting to um, show weakness, or whatever that might look like, right? So it's just so interesting because the, what is the Seven of Swords clarifying that the lovers right like what are what is someone hiding here their feelings the this the strength of this bond right so it's not that the bond isn't there it's that it's not being acknowledged it's it's causing too much anxiety it's causing too much overthinking here yeah it, it there's just this desire to just like move away it's like i'm just gonna go focus on myself my money my career do my own thing because it just feels too overwhelming because there's not when there is conversation I feel like between the two of you around the how you feel about each other it, it comes off very calculated or like cold or like okay you say you love me or you say you care about me but like even the way you say it seems um <laughs> like I said like it just seems like there's no emotion behind it so it's hard to like this person's hard to read. They might feel like you're hard to read. I can't, every time I say something about this person, I feel, I, I'm hearing like it could be the other way or like I get this feeling like it could be mirror, you could be mirroring each other, right? This back and forth, like both almost like trying to control the situation here um, by not saying how you feel fully. Don't shoot the messenger when I say that, Cancer, but that's how it feels. It feels like there's, um, I'm getting like five of swords energy, even like a tit for tat, like, oh, they didn't call me back for two days. I won't call them back for three days, right? Um, they're going to be cold. I'll be colder. That's kind of the energy I get here. But at the, at the crux of this, at the very core, it's like the two of you feel this intense love or bond for each other right um so what's this person's actions towards cancer then in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more like it's like denial here or like i'm not gonna say it first like that's how it feels we did get the eight of cups yeah the ten of pentacles what the hell the three of wands the ace of cups the emperor this person is emotionally unavailable straight up cancer this person is emotionally unavailable they're not someone who taps into their feelings more and more masculine energy here it could be an aries while they want some sort of connection with you and while they want some sort of new beginning here this person also is not able to tap in to those emotions like it's like it feels good in the beginning it feels good in the start it feels like we both like each other but then it kind of caps and it's this person is the type of person to be like well, you should just know I care for you. You should just know I like you, right? And maybe you don't need as much communication, Cancer, but some people are like, I need to hear it. Or, you know, it'd be nice if you told me this sometimes or whatever it might be. This is not that person, Cancer. So up to you to decide that. This person does want something with you here, something long-term, something stable here. Um, there is stability here, especially financially. I feel like this person could be very... Um, you know, well in their career, able to provide in some way, but there's no, why the eight of cups? There's no emotional availability here. The Hierophant, that's just how they are. It could be like tradition. It could be like, this is just how they're, they've grown up. It could be cultural. It could be like, these are just the rules, quote unquote, of how to be um, a certain person like for instance I'll just use the this example a lot of like men are taught boys don't cry don't talk about your feelings things like that so they could just see this as like it's just the way it is right um that's just why they are emotionally unavailable it's like what do you mean like this is this that's their normal right so even there's even though there's this desire to have this beginning with you and to actually have something quite like stable it's it's this is someone who's got a mask on, someone who's very like strong, silent type, someone who's very much like you would never know something's bothering them. Um, my way or the highway kind of energy, right? Like it's like, it's boss-like, like it can't, like, you know, this kind of energy is very, um, 
uh, valuable, I would say, in a lot of ways. I feel like this person has a hard time separating work and home is what I just got. So I don't know if they are like a leader at work, someone who gives orders, someone who's in charge. And then when they get home, they're kind of the same way. Um, so that like they do want something here with you with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Like this is someone who's interested in you, definitely want you in their life. But they have these sort of rules in their mind about how they're supposed to show up. And like that's it just is. It just is. Anything else about that Eight of Cups? Nine of Wands. Well, they're guarded. This is a wounded warrior. This is someone who maybe has been um, vulnerable in the past. And when maybe they did open up and it doesn't necessarily have to be with like an ex or a friend. It could have been like what, like I said, when they cried as a child, they were told not to. Um, or when they expressed themselves to family, they were like, you know, stop being such a baby or you're so sensitive or something like that. Like this, I, I just get this wall up with this person. They are very logical. Someone who likes to think through everything. Someone who's like, if it doesn't make sense, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to express it. They want, they have a very strong, like, um, again you should just know kind of energy um this is someone who's kind of avoidant to be honest with you if you don't know about attachment style I'll post a link down below if i forget someone in the comments please let me know because sometimes i forget these things um but they're very avoidant very much uh like this is just how i am right um ace of cups tell me so if there's no one in your life <laughs> if there's no one in your life just yet Cancer, the aces do represent new and look, that's coming out of nowhere. But what's clarifying this is the five of cups. Like this person has been hurt before. There's something in their past, some sort of um, deep wound here that they can't let go of that causes them to be really excited in the beginning about something new. And then they're like, okay, we're just in this, right? Like you just know, you should just know how I feel. You should just know what this is and what this isn't. They don't want to talk about it. They, want, they don't want to express themselves they take their emotions they put them in a package they tie a little bow on it and they put it over here that's that's who you're dealing with so while there is an offer coming in um if you are able to deal with the strong silent type cancer then you will have no problem especially because this person is able to offer stability here especially financially but there's not um I mean, as a water sign cancer, it might be really important for you to be able to emotionally connect with someone. Um, this person is, is not able to give that. Not to say it's, it's bad or it's wrong. It just is, right? This is this person's normal. This is their normal. So while emotional availability is very important, if this person doesn't see the value in it, it's like trying to convince you can bring a like what's that saying like you can bring a horse to water but you can't force it to drink like that's that's kind of how this feels um so let's see their intentions towards you then cancer what is this person's true intentions eight of cups again not investing emotionally in this like not opening up the high priestess silence Pisces energy, just again, wanting you to even tap into there in, into, wow, the queen of cups. It's like this person knows how they show up. They intend to continue doing that. But like intuitively, there is this part of them that wants to be able to open up more and be more compassionate, be more understanding, be more loving, be more vulnerable, be more open. But it's like, again, I just get this strong feeling where they're like intuitively, they just want you to know. And I feel like you do cancer because you are very intuitive as a water sign. You can maybe pick up on this person's mood when it's not so good or that something's off with them. And I feel like you are really good at being like, what's wrong? I can tell, just talk to me or, okay, I can see you're upset. Let's go do something fun. Like you pick up on it really easy. And this person likes that about you. They want it to kind of continue that way. They don't want to have to sort of talk about it. They don't want to have to be like, hey, I had a bad day or like, hey, this feels off, right? I feel like deep down there is a part of them that wants to be more like, I just wanted to say more like you, Cancer. Um, obviously, if you're cross-watching, take it as it resonates. Wants to be more in this Queen of Cups energy, right? Um, but they also appreciate that you are more. You're more like that, so you are you can take that role in this connection, whether it's friendship or more. Um, anything else for their intentions? So heavy Pisces energy. We just got Cancer energy, the Chariot, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like this, I feel like if there's a distance here, this person's willing to travel to you. If not, like it's like they, they see this going somewhere for sure. They don't want to let go of this. They have a good time with you, right? They have fun, but they don't want to talk about how they feel. They don't. 
And when they do, if they do, they're very cold with it. They're very, it seems like they're telling a story. It doesn't seem like they're like actually in it. Um, it almost feels like scripted. You could feel at times when this person does talk about how they feel. Anything else for intentions? This person does care about you, Cancer. Queen of Wands, what are these two queens then? The Tower, Scorpio energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, you might be, like, this person kind of intends to slowly but surely move things along. What is that? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Oh. The Three of Swords. I don't know why I felt the need to keep pulling here, but I did. Um, the whole reason this person might be emotionally unavailable here, not fully able to, whatever that past is, might be someone else here that they're still sort of... connecting here with. They have a history here with. Yeah, I think that, that that feels like a huge reason why this person can't open up the same way. Tell me more about the Three of Swords because there's still this lingering energy. Two of Wands. This person kind of always wonders what it will be like with someone else here. Cancer. I, got, I have to be honest with you. Now, while this other connection may not be as deep, and they don't feel like, like I said, those deeper emotions that they feel with you, there is still something here, something lingering, and they kind of always wonder what the future could be with them. Could be someone from their childhood even, or someone they just have a long-standing history with here. It's like, there's, hmm, what is that? Tell me about that strength card. I'm trying to understand that. What is that? The Leo energy there? This, I feel like this person's always going to have a little thing for whoever this is. And if it's not someone from their past here, Cancer, that you're like, oh, I know it's their ex, or I know it's like, you know, that, that it could even be like, if this is a friendship breed, that it could be a friend who like is like, you know, don't settle down, like just have fun, like whatever. And they're kind of always thinking about that, thinking about like, that could be their future, right? I feel like um, this person kind of looks up to them in some way. Like they feel like they give them confidence in some way. To, to uh, It's really hard to get through here, Cancer. I see why this person struggles with communication. There's someone from the past here who they kind of always think about, always wonder about, always um, think if what could be and it, even if it is just a friend, it's like someone who they admire, someone who has a lifestyle that they're like, wow, that could be a lot of fun. And they wonder what it could be like. They are always kind of like inter entertaining that idea in the back of their mind. Not the best intention to have here, Cancer, obviously, but like it, it explains this person's Eight of Cups energy, their inability to open up fully with you because there's so, and this could just be part of it, right? There's someone else here who they still consider or think about, or there's just another way of life that they're like, maybe that could be my route instead of being in this like queen of cups energy with someone else, right? So just be aware of that cancer. Like, again, could just be a friend who really influences them. It doesn't have to be like an ex lover here, but it is someone they have history with. Okay, what's the potential outcome then? Ugh, got the Ten of Pentacles again, Cancer. Someone here wants you in their life. The Sun, wow. The King of Pentacles. Now, I don't know if this person tries to win you over with money or stability. Ace of Wands. Yeah, the two of you, like, starting things up here. Like, it's, it could just be this cycle with this person of, like, we got the Three of Cups. Maybe you see them. Maybe you, you, you feel the butterflies all over again. You end up reconnecting with them. You know, maybe the two of you have this history together. Or this um, Now, obviously, I said I do new. This is a new love reading, right? New does not have to be like you met them yesterday. And you could be like, 
the last six months, right? Everyone's definition of new is different, but it feels like you two sparking things up, this person providing, this person giving you stability in some way here. Again, lots of um, material needs are being met, but there's no king of cups here. There's no 10 of cups here. There's no two of cups here. This is not someone who's like emotionally available. This is someone who's like having a good time with you. They like that, right? Could even be like a, a summer fling here with that sun energy. It's It feels good. It feels fun. I'm not gonna lie, Cancer, like this feels like a good time. But if you're looking for something deeper, it doesn't go deeper than the ace with this person. It doesn't. And now I'm looking back at that seven of swords. Um, the lovers, lovers used to be called the choice. This person could feel like they're constantly debating what choice to make, to fully be in this with you, to let go of something else or another potential lifestyle or something like that. Like this person likes um, sort of being in control, being, um, very successful yeah they want you around for a long time with that ten of pentacles why why the ten of pentacles they want you around the five of pentacles they're afraid of abandonment wow they're afraid of you leaving them behind this person doesn't like to be alone this person does not want to be alone five of pentacles this could also be you cancer maybe you don't want to be alone so you're like even though i know they have this person lingering in the back like I'm I don't want to be alone either now don't shoot the messenger when I say that but like a lot of us have fear of abandonment a lot of us have a fear of being alone this could be codependency even right there's there could be fear of like financial loss here or oh, if I leave like how am I going to support myself or something like that I always say if you get into a serious relationship with someone cancer always have your own finances always Right? Always make sure you have your own means. Um, so, yeah. Lots of Taurus energy here. Gemini, Virgo, um, Aquarius, Libra. Yeah, I said Taurus. Aries, Pisces, Cancer. If you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Leo, I can't remember if I said Leo. Yeah, so it feels like... Just be aware just be aware right you might be totally fine with being this with this person and not having an emotional connection that's your prerogative that's up to you but that's what this is how will cancer know who this is they're asking me to go over here how will cancer know who this is the king of wands wow the four of wands someone who's very attractive very confident very suave um we got the king of wands and then that queen of wands came out so they could like I said, have that person that they're still sort of, that's still sort of lingering there. But then we also got the Queen of Swords. So I feel like this person connects with you and connects with this other person for different reasons, but there is a strong connection for with both of you. If this, if I, I strongly feel like there's another energy here. I don't know if it's a friend or a lover or family. Six of Wands, this person likes attention. This person's reputation is really important to them. What you don't see the Five of Swords, this person could play mind games. Right? Heavy fire energy. This person's very, like, passionate. Um, could have, like, great ideas, too. Well-liked in the community. Advice for Cancer. King of Wands. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Don't be confused by their good looks and charm you have options too what does your happiness look like cancer ask yourself that question ask yourself what this two of cups energy would mean for you how do you talk to each other how do you connect how do you spend time how does this person tell you they're upset how do you they celebrate happiness with you what do you do together right like ask those really specific questions and if it's this person go for it but your happiness doesn't have to be with only this person is what I'm getting. Be be just as confident. You have options too. Tap into how you feel. The Nine of Cups, yeah. What makes you feel good? Choose. If it's this person, if you're like, I'm fully fulfilled with this person. I don't need them to talk to me. I don't need emotional connection. Like, I'm good. Like, I can do that on my own. This connection works great for me. Then good. Go for it. Right, But if you're wanting something deeper, something more fulfilling, then you do have options here. And if this person makes you confused, 
then just consider that is what I would say, Cancer. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman, maybe a woman that likes to wear her hair in a bun or wears pearls, I'm seeing. Um, we got the month of December. Could be a birthday or maybe something happened in December. Significant date of some sort. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming, Cancer. And then the moon, changes in your life. You just got two cards back to back that change is happening, right? So you get to decide what that change looks like too. It's not just up to this person. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. That also speaks to the sun card in your potential outcome, like bringing light to the situation, right? When you're out in the sun, you can see everything. So understanding that more hat, you will be playing a different role. And lion, time to act. Use that inner strength. Look at rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Maybe seeing a rainbow will be confirmation of that cancer. If you see a rainbow, you're going to get your happiness no matter what. You got the ten of cups. Dating, whining, dining, romance. Perhaps this person is whining, dining you. But look at ice queen, divorcee, mother, discernment. Right, um, that came through as this person, so they could still be heavily attached. Just like some, maybe it's a divorce or something like that. Passion, chemistry, passionate feeling. I definitely feel like that exists between the two of you here. But look at past love in the past, past lover. It could be them and this person, because this person, this other person, and their intentions came through as the Queen of Wands, and they're coming through as the King of Wands. So they could just have like a very strong attraction with someone else here, someone from the past. But they're kind of always, it's always lingering. We did get young males, sporty, cars, youthful, dating queen, opportunities, dates, abundance. I feel like it's you with the seven of cups. Travel, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to pull so many cards from this deck, but I am. And then you got money, wealth, luck, finances. Yeah, so the, I don't know. Maybe this person says like, sorry by giving you a trip or like sorry by taking you somewhere nice or something like that but there's no deep conversations with this person when they do talk they they're they're distant they're cold detached um we did get romance there and then look at it's up to you cancer it's up to you what is your idea of romance how does someone woo you how does someone make you feel like you're the only person in the world is this person doing that Right? You get to decide. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Write that in the comments, Cancer. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You do. You do. That came through as your advice too. Nine and ten of cups. That didn't come through in this reading with this person. You know in their actions and how they feel or whatever but it came through for your advice you get to create your happiness success i know that there is no greater goal than to love and as soon as i read that i heard love yourself cancer so whatever that looks like right show up for yourself so that others can show up for you in that way if you don't do it for yourself first it can't happen by other people look at a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision I don't know what you're trying to manifest here, whatever your happily ever after looks like, Cancer, but it will happen for you. So keep holding the vision. Oh, got two, card. oh, two cards there. You got milk and honey, and then you also got to be fair. They said, they said flip that. Okay. Okay. They said no go back. What do you mean? Okay, I'm going to take it as it originally was. Flip that. I heard flip that. Okay. Um, this says, injustice and inequity are a part of life, but they do not have to define your experience. This is a time when you may observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed. Perhaps you come to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer a personal slight. You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and for others. This card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate. Choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference. 
One thing is for certain, if fairness is your intention, the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concerned through acts of kindness, empathy, and courage. Whatever that means for you. I'm going to read both messages for this because I heard flip it and then it said put it back. So I don't know. I just want to make sure. I'll read the upright first, which says sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Wow. But then you also got a nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. It works in the moment, but only fleetingly before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're, ex until you're exhausted. Feeling worse than before, you may continue struggling or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit. Now is the time for practicing extreme self-care. If you can, do so before you engage in behaviors that you will regret later. You are so loved, so cared for. Feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. They want me to read this again. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. So perhaps that's sort of like indulging and again, whatever this person might um, be offering that came through as the King of Pentacles, right? And, and sort of ignoring the deeper issue that might be going on because the Three of Cups did come out in the potential outcome too. Again, kind of naming that third energy that might be here. So it's up to you, Cancer, right? But I feel like Spirit's just asking you to reflect um, more, but you have a lot of good in your life right now too. So I, I hope that helped. Listen, I'm not going to be straight with you. Sometimes the readings are confusing for me. So um, they're in hopes to give you more guidance, but um, sometimes the, the messages can be blurry. It can feel, it's hard when you have someone like this who's not very open with how they feel. I can't tap into their energy as easily. So I get it, Cancer. But if you still have questions, check out my link in the description. Um, you can connect with a love psychic there and your first five minutes with them will be completely free. So you could ask them more questions that maybe I didn't get to. But let's see. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got V, M, O, N, K, and the number two. Okay, so I hope something resonated, Cancer. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.